white people, all right? Toledo RC. Now, this is the, uh, the video. I was gonna do a build series, but I, I made a video. It was about an hour and a half long, and it was boring as fuck. So, we're, gonna, we're gonna leave that alone. I end, I built the video. I, I, I have footage all the way up to installing the center diff. And after that, the, the camera was just in the way. Trying to manage the camera and uh, focus on what I was doing was just too much going on. It, it started taking fun out of what I was doing. So I killed the camera action. So right now we're gonna go over the parts that I, the, the tools that I used the uh, materials that I use, the oils, and uh, also we're gonna go over a few parts. We're gonna go over the whole, what I experienced during the build and what I need, what I feel is important to talk about. So first thing first. I use my MIPs of course, my speed, my speed drive bits. Um, gotta have a caliper, I use my fourth inch uh, screwdriver drill and the drill. I explain the drill in a minute. And um, of course, you got you gotta have a shock shaft. Uh, you got that my hot racing one calibers. Let's get to the of course. Uh, you got your team associated black grease. Whenever you do any work to a to any of these cars, you have to use black grease. If you don't, you need to look, you need to research it. Um, get a little zoom in on this. Okay. Uh, I also bought, I was running low on green slime, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so. They also had, at the hobby shop, they had Protec uh, O-ring grease. So I used the, the Pro, I'd say I'd give it a try. I used the Protec O-ring grease. And they also had the uh, Protec uh, uh, white friction uh, gear grease. So I didn't use this. I didn't use this for a simple reason. On my gears, I use Fast Eddie's grease. So, and that's inside the diffs. And also around uh, around where the burns go, I always also use the grease those too. So in this kit, this is a bashing setup, people. My whole kit, my whole setup was not for racing at all. I ran 50k in the front shocks. I ran 60k in the rear shocks, and my in my front diff. I ran 60k in the front diffs. Well, my shock hole. Let's go back to that. I ran 50, uh, 50 weight in in the front and 60 weight in the rear. On my uh, front diff, I ran 60k in my front diff with a diff fluid. I ran 200k in my center diff, and I ran 100k in my rear diff. That's going to give me my maximum, especially for this size for the A scale truggy. It's going to give me my maximum power to the ground. Of course, you got your snips. And, uh, this is regular holders right there. That's the that's the wrench that came with. That's the Kyosho wrench. And uh, these are spare parts, spare pills. We're going. To, I'm gonna go over the car in a minute. It also came with the. Uh, with the 13 tooth clutch bell, came with the uh, flywheel that's also in the same bronze aluminum that the whole kit is in. And then it came uh, with the uh, aluminum uh, clutch shoes and uh, springs. Of course, the booklet booklet was real good. It, it gave, uh, it was real easy to follow. Two different languages so you don't have a problem with that and also has it at the back of it a nice exploded view for parts and part numbers so if you ever need parts you'll never have a problem finding what you need with this booklet it covers it all all right and we're going to get into the car
This is the platform, people. This is my platform. All right, we're going to discuss. I'm going to go to the to the rear, well, to the front first. We'll go to the, by the front. Now, this kit came with, of course, the like I said, the bronze aluminum spindles, front spindles. Came with these. Kyosho shocks, beautiful the way they uh, the way they had them. They came with uh, two different styles of pistons. I just used the original ones with the uh, four holes instead of the eight holes inside of the pistons. These uh, every, there are pills everywhere on this on this kit. Everywhere, everything's fully adjustable. That's what I noticed about this uh, this kit. Everything is fully adjustable. From the pills up front on the A block, it has its pills on the B block. Let me get, let me get a get a little zoom in on it, a little focus. Okay, it has pills on the B block. Fully adjustable, people. It's it's amazing at how much the adjustability of this kit. Um, the diffs were machined and cut great, especially the uh, the inside gears, the uh, all of the gears that go inside the diff. Forgot what they call them. Not I'm not talking about. It. And also, of course, the pinion gear connecting to the actual diff, the uh, the gear the gear itself on the diff. Great. Like I said, with the aluminum, of course, the on here no carbon fiber, which uh, it's aesthetic anyway. But the aluminum was let's go over the kit aluminum. You have the A, B, C, and D blocks in aluminum, and if you see those pills, fully adjustable. You have the uh, aluminum shock tower. It's all bronze, bronze aluminum. And it reads Kyosho on it. Um, the motor mounts, bronze aluminum. Even the mount to the chassis are bronze aluminum. Right there, it's the bronze aluminum. You have the, uh, what they call it, the Ackerman arm, bronze aluminum. With, 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 even that has three adjustments on it. Everything is adjustable on here, people. Everything. Front shock tower. Bronze aluminum. Of course, the uh, servo tray, bronze aluminum. These are the spaces that go under, that goes under the, uh, ser well, the servos go on top of these spacers. Center diff. The top of it is a bronze aluminum, the rest of it is plastic. Look at that on that center diff. Look at the brakes, people. Look at those brake pads, front and rear. They're thick as all get out. Get some light on it. Try to show you. That's even that's a worse position than where I was at. Okay, there we go. Have the rear of it and the front of the center diff. Those with those brake pads, these are gonna stop on a dime and look how thick they are. They're gonna last forever. Now I did all my linkage. Don't have my servos yet. Not. The only upgrade parts that I'm going to do aluminum off the back, I'm going to upgrade this, which this plastic is hard, but I always put at least on the back of it, I'm going to upgrade that to uh, 
the chassis, the rear chassis brace up to the aluminum. <clears throat> um, I have to have to get this plastic, uh, the linkage for the the uh, throttle servo, the throttle um, servo arm, this dual arm. I need to get that in aluminum. And I'm not looking for too much aluminum upgrade on that. That's that's a, that's pretty much the major. Oh yeah, and also the rear hubs. They were plastic. I need that in aluminum. And I'm gonna see how the center diff hold up. The center diff tower. I doubt if I have an issue with that. And like I said, basically, even on the rear, adjustability for days. They even had adjustable. They even had adjustable uh, pills for for the rear hubs and all of that. It just made it was just ridiculous. I, it took me a while to figure out which one I want to run for a bashing setup. With racing, oh shit! You would have to test. You would have to put this car together. These you would have to take put these together. Left and right, you would have to change these at the track just to see what what will work best for you and how it works with the different degrees and everything to see which one will work better for which condition you're running in it can get it can get out of hand this is this type of uh, platform that you have options a lot of them and you would basically have to test it out just to see what will work best for you this is the uh, Kyosha MP10T Truggy, so I'm pretty sure the buggy, the buggy is made the same way. I know they're supposed to be doing some revision, so, but you know I gotta have it. They're supposed to be doing some revision, so I'm gonna wait, sit back and wait and see what they do to it. Of course, Kyosha always have these. Always have uh, cotter pins, which makes it quick and easy to open stuff up so just pull the cotter pin out and open it up I have nothing in there right now that's the uh, that's the uh, receiver tray and then you have a uh, the battery tray of course right here oh yeah one more thing that I'm, that I'm talking about put, put this back in here real quick all right one more thing you see this has a blank right here it has a blank this is where your switch go it come for one with a switch and it come for one without the switch so of course I don't run switches on my eight on these eight scales and so basically I went with the blank one Man, I really don't have much else to say about this. This is all oh, beautiful, especially this fuel tank does not have a clump system. So it's, it actually has a, uh, I don't know if you can see in there. It has a system to where it's a tube that go all the way down to the bottom of the tank. As you can see, it hooks up right here. So it's basically a tube with, a, I guess, the brass fitting goes in there to the bottom and it comes up so your fuel filter is actually on the outside that is your filter so basically if you flip over upside down and you had a clunk you won't have clunk issues it will work in a different way now I haven't used this or not or anything so I can't say how good that system will be but I'm telling you it's different than the other ones that's what the fuel system tube goes connects to this brass fitting and goes all the way down to the bottom and it sucks from there once again it's the uh kyosho mp10 end of build as you see i'm also had a i'm a, I also have the video running Uh, it's probably already ran by now of parts of it is being built before I just cut it all off and call it a damn day 
only had a few hours here, no, not even hours, sometimes 30 minutes to work on it, sometimes hours, sometimes 45 minutes when I got off of work, depends on how late I got here. So, once again, I'm gonna be sending the body off, so we ain't gotta worry about that. The body to this kit, I'm gonna be getting painted. So I haven't, not, I haven't done, I haven't cut it or done anything to it. I'm gonna let the uh, paint, the painter, to deal with that situation. I gotta order servos. I also need servos from my other uh, eight scale, my my uh, JQ buggy. So I need to order four of those, and I need two receivers. So that'll be a pretty penny. And I also got to send a few of these engines off. Also, yeah, I forgot. Also, the bronze aluminum pieces on the top right there on the wing. Not a fan of the wing. It's pretty, pl pretty plain and simple. I actually like the pro lines better, but I don't know how easy it is to get that stuff anymore. So we'll see. I think they call it pro line. Who was at the finisher or whatever, whatever the hell it was called. But all right, it's the. Uh, after kit build of the Kyosho MP10T. Salute RC. I'm out.